All right, I am here to talk about a project I've been working on, I'm really excited about. Back in December, I think I saw a TikTok video discussing the ELIZA framework. And what ELIZA is, is it's an open source AI agent framework, and it's mainly used for cryptocurrency exchange and all kinds of things, Web3 blockchain stuff that I really don't have a ton of understanding of, but I wanted to, it seemed interesting, I wanted to start contributing to the project, and I did a little bit here and there, but as I was using it, I, you know, I really started digging into AI agents and how they work, and got really interested in the possibilities of what you could do. You know, since I'm a red teamer by trade, I started thinking about something I thought about years ago, you know, what if AI could be a red teamer or a hacker? I decided to give it a try. And what I've come up with, it's kind of the beginning of this project. It's its working. I'm real excited about expanding everything, all the functionality of it. I just kind of wanted to demonstrate where I'm at right now and discuss a little bit about you know where I can take this. Basically, I have an AI agent I call Replicant 6. Can't see too much down here in the Discord chat, but that's where I'm gonna interact with Replicant 6. And the Replicant 6 character, I'm not going to give too much of a backstory on it, but I'm kind of using some of the Blade Runner lore. You can make your own assumption on what Replicant 6 actually means if you know anything about Blade Runner. Anyway, the, the Replicant 6 agent is a plug-in into the Mythic C2 framework. Anybody familiar with red teaming, you'll know uh, Mythic C2 is an open source post exploitation C2 framework. It's really amazing coded by Cody over at Spectre Ops. It's a feature and all kinds of other contributors. Um, it's really modular. You can create your own agents or payloads and plug right in. That being said, I was able to pretty easily plug in this AI agent into Mythic. Just kind of overview of what's going on here. I have a callback from an implant that's just my host machine for now. Using the Apollo payload, which is a Windows, well, I think it can do other operating systems, but it definitely interacts with uh, Windows. I just chose that for the demonstration here, but the cool thing about this this plugin, this AI agent, is that it can use any, any of the Mythic payloads. Um, I've ragged it to know everything there is to know about Mythic using the Mythic documentation, all of the agents. I ragged it on all of the agent documentation. I ragged it on the MITRE ATT&CK framework documentation. Minimal ragging, but you know, again, something I'm going to expand into trying to find good documentation, good open free documentation on Red Team and hacking tradecraft. Eventually get a lot of the, you know, intelligence that we can get on APTs to make this tool really, really robust in its abilities to emulate real world adversaries. This is a completely autonomous red team agent. It's going to operate. You basically give it a an objective and you let it loose and it decides when it's completed your objective by using a LLM model. Right now, I'm using the Grok model, but I'm using a local Olam model for the embeddings because it integrates has a kind of a built-in rag system which is really nice and makes it really easy to, to do your ragging. Uh, kind of enough of a backstory I think and description. Let's go ahead and start Eliza up and I'll show you just a very simple red team operation. I would start it with the Replicant 6 character. You're probably not going to be able to follow too much of the logging over here because it spits out pretty quickly. Maybe later I'll go back through some of what's happening, but basically the idea is that, you know, you tell it the objective, the LLM takes a look at your objective and tries to just decide what the best steps are to achieve that objective. So it's first going to go through recon and every command that it runs it's going to analyze and try to figure out if it needs to go on to from the recon phase to another phase. Lateral movement, privilege escalation, exfiltration, persistence. It, it always assesses based on the response that it gets from the command that it runs. Let's give it a try. As you can see, Republican 6 popped up down here in Discord and it's asking for the, the objective. I'm going to give it an objective that I gave it earlier. Again, a really simple one. I just want it to find a file on a system. This happens to be 
on the system than I have the implant on. It's not a very difficult task, but it could be on another system on the network, so I might have to try to laterally move to get there. So I go ahead and tell it my objective. It needs to find this gateway notes.txt. And you'll see that it set the set the objective and it tells you if you want you don't want to go ahead with it. You can go ahead and tell it to start. And you can see the message below is generated by the LLM. The character of Replicate 6 speaks in the character's voice and this gives a little bit of, of fun to the the interaction with the with the model. We'll go ahead and start. That speaking stopped and started thing is, is has to do with uh, Discord. So you'll get a lot. I have a lot of informational text coming through the standard out for debugging purposes. So you can see over here, it, it's executing this command and you can see it sent this command to Mythic. Uh, so it's trying to find this gateway notes. It did a whole bunch of, well, not a whole bunch, but some analysis on the, the objective that it gave it and it decides, well, we need to try to run some commands. Now you can see down here that this command that it, that it executed gives some analysis, basically saying it, you know, it didn't find anything, so it's gonna try a different command. And you can see it's now sending this uh, PowerShell command. So this first one I think came back empty. And yeah, nope, this next one, we'll see what comes back. Hopefully it's sometime, I have to fix something, a little bit of bug on some of the parsing of the response for Mythic. Hopefully it, this particular one doesn't give me that problem. I mean, it'll eventually get to the right command. Normally, sometimes it's the first try. Sometimes it doesn't realize that it got a good response back. And again, I, that's just something in the parsing I have to fix. So this should be good. This, this is a, you know, when it, when it turns green, we know that we got the, uh, the response back from Mythic. So even though you see the response here, it's not fully done running the PowerShell command, apparently on the, on the target machine. Um, so we'll see how the LLM interprets this. Hopefully the parsing was good this time. It's hit or miss for some reason, the PowerShell for me. Okay, so it's good. It found, found the, says it knows it found the target file after it does its analysis here. Um, and now it's going to, it moves to the exfiltration phase. It decides that's where the best place to go is. And it's going to run the download command. Now, just so you know what command it decides, it first, you tell it the objective and analyzes like what real world commands can, can we do to meet that objective. Then it gets all of the commands that it has available from the, the mythic agent that you're using. And it decides how best to execute the command that it wants to execute using the mythic agent command. So you'll notice here it tried shell and PowerShell. It seems probably the logical commands to use to search the file system. And then it used the download, the download command, which is built into the, the, the agent the Apollo agent and many other agents that interact with Mythic for downloading files. It decides it wants to, you know, somehow download a file. It looks at what it would normally do as a hacker and then, you know, or, or just somebody trying to download a file via a command line. And then it says, how can I do that with the commands I have available in the Mythic payload? And, you know, that's all comes from the ragging of all of the documentation that I gave it. But anyway, you can see that the download worked and you can see over here in the discord what's happening and analyzes the file successfully downloaded that's the uuid of the file that mythic gives it and then it knows it, again it, it analyzes and it says okay this was my objective this is what i got looks like i've completed my objective so you see operation completed successfully and uh this is probably just a bug here it, it redoes uh, gives you the analysis again and operation completed successfully so i gotta figure out why it loops that last little bit and then basically it it tells the uh, the client that it's completed and then gives us this last message again that's the the actual client saying that rather than the decision maker. And then we can start all over. It gives us a prompt to give it a new objective. So that's uh, where we're at now. You know, pretty simple objective. I do have the functionality for making decisions on lateral movement, privilege escalation. I need to add persistence and what else? Yeah, I have XFIL, I have recon. 
I just need to now start testing with a little more advanced operation objectives. Uh, so what I need to do is get into like a lab environment, maybe some sort of, you know, CTF type of environment that will allow me to put an implant, you know, compromised box within a network so I can start doing some uh, testing some of the advanced functionality. That's where I'm at. I'm really excited about this and I'm sure that I can get this doing all the advanced stuff very shortly. Thanks.